Hello, this is Matteo Urbanati from the Fraser Academy, the first and only online training school on router bits and anything related to the cutting and routing of wood. And today, with the help of my friend, Pencaleo, we are going to show you how to make strong and long-lasting sliding dovetail joints, even if you have little or no experience with router bits. This type of joint is a mainstay of joinery because the profiles on the two pieces allows a very solid joint that is difficult to separate. Then, if you also apply to it a bit of glue, such as jointly, the joint becomes practically inseparable. Frazier's word of honor. In today's video tutorial, we're going to show and explain to you how to make a sliding joint to join two pieces of wood that can slide over each other without separating. We're going to apply this type of dovetail joint again to build a complete drawer, from the fronts to the sliding sides, in a future video. But for now, let's proceed step-by-step step starting with the basics. We're going to use a strong 12.7 mm diameter Fraser dovetail router bit with a 14 degree cutting edge angle, mounted on a vertical router positioned under a router bench. As always, we start by unplugging the machine and then we insert the router bit into the router up to the K symbol engraved on the shank. We're going to make the joint on two 40 mm wide and 25 mm high wooden posts. First, we sort the two pieces into male, the dovetail, and female, the socket, and mark with a marking gauge. Align at 10 millimeters from the edge on both sides of the wooden posts. This is going to be useful when it comes time to make the necessary cuts with your router bit. We go over the marks with a pencil and then we set the cutting height of the router bit to the maximum, bringing the lower cutter to the same level as the working surface where the wood piece lies. To cut the socket, we must cut through the central part between the two marks and be careful not to go outside of the marks. With the router turned off, we adjust the fence so that the top edge of the cutter sits precisely at the start of the line traced earlier on the piece of wood. Tighten everything and set the RPM to 18,000 and safely start your two sets of cuts necessary to carve out the contours of your 20 millimeter dovetail socket, given that the diameter of the router bit is 12.7 millimeters. To cut the dovetail, we need to align the lower cutter with the line traced earlier, starting from the outer area. We need two passes, two cuts on one side, then turn the piece around and do the same for the opposite side. And there it is, our strong sliding dovetail joint, ready to run for many years.
want to fix it permanently and block the sliding, use a small amount of Professional Jointal D3 Vinyl Glue, suitable for outdoor use too, and leave it pressed for at least 20 to 30 minutes. To finish off the work, we dismount the router bit and check its condition before putting it back in its case. If, as in this case, there are important residues on the cutting edge, a degreasing bath with the effective cleaning product Toolsner 3.0 will be necessary. Once the router bit is dried properly, we apply a few drops of bit top. The miraculous liquid that keeps your router bit as good as new, and it prolongs its cutting performances. This is an exclusive Fraser product that you can get for free with every purchase. One bottle of bit top for every four router bits purchased, but you can also buy it in the FraserTools.com mega store. If you like this video and want more practical and effective tips on the world of router bits for wood, then the Fraser Academy is the right place for you. This is the best online training resource for hobbyists and craftsmen. Here you can find anything about router bits for wood and woodworking, so that you can finally become an extremely skilled router bit user. Please note that the Fraser Academy is currently only available in Italian. You can find all the robust Fraser router bits and tools used in this video, which are essential to get a perfect result in the online shop dedicated to wood routing, www.frasertools.com. See you soon, Mateo.